everyone, Joshua Myers here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla King of the Monsters from 2019. So yeah, I actually, uh, last Wednesday went to see this movie in the theater with my friend Abe, and I will say this, there are some things in this movie that does overall improve from the 2014 movie. Um, yeah, like I think the things that improved include some monster fighting, which you get to see a lot more of, and there's also a lot more monsters in this. Um, like you get, no, like... You, you not only get like the classic Godzilla kaiju monsters like uh, um, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Rodan, um, but you also get some new ones too, actually. Um, yeah, and all that stuff is pretty cool, actually. Um, the only, and also the music is really good. The music is composed by Bear McCurry. Um, who did stuff like Walking Dead, like the Walking Dead show, and is doing uh, the music for the Child's Play reboot. And, yeah, I think he did really well. It was much better music than the 2014 film. So, in fact, what was even cool about his music is that he was able to recompose some of the original themes, especially the main Godzilla theme from the 1954 movie. So, that was awesome. Um, other than that, like, it's still pretty bad, like, it just made a few improvements over the 2014 movie, and I'll say the characters aren't as bad as, like, you know, Brian Cranston's son or whatever in the 2014 movie, I think it's, like, to the point where it's so bad, so over the top, to where it's kind of, like, fun and funny to watch, you know? So I'll give it that, and when it does the family drama stuff, because there is a family involved in this, they're the main focus, it's not that bad, you know, I've definitely seen way worse with that, um, but at the same time, too, I've definitely seen much better, so it's just kind of, eh, um... And, yeah, like, knowing that you also got quote-unquote villain in this movie, a human villain, and he's kind of, like, I'm like, seriously, do we really even need to have a villain, human villain in a Godzilla movie? Like, do we really need that? And another thing, too, this movie is basically, I guess you could say an environmental film, in a sense. Like, and this was yet another movie where it's saying, like, oh, humans are ruining this planet, you know? We are basically a disease that needs to be stopped. Like, I'm just tired of that in movies. Just, please stop with that. Like, seriously, it's almost as bad as throwing politics into movies. Like, seriously, like, just stop. Okay, <laughs> that kind of irked me. I'm, I'm really sorry, but that did. Like, I think that has literally become a cliche of its own at this point. So, um, let's see. I don't know. Like, it still suffers from the human element and human, like, like the character development of the human characters and the human drama of it. Like, I don't know, like, I'll say this film is not good, it's not horrible either, I've seen way worse movies than this, um, yeah, and just, 
I don't know. Um, if I were to give a review for this movie, I'd pro. So yeah, I just don't want to really get too much into this review. Actually, I'm. Um, I'm. I'm trying to make it spoiler free, and that's because after I upload this video, I'm going to be uploading yet another review of this. It's going to be a spoiler filled review. Uh, with me and my friend Abe. So this would technically, like, this wouldn't be technically the first time you guys would see Abe in my, any of my videos. But this will be the first time you really get to see him as a person, you know. Know his personality and that and show how we work off each other and that. So, so yeah, and I'm looking forward for you guys seeing that. Actually, uh, the review is going to be pretty lengthy, probably the most... Uh, probably the longest video on my channel to date. I think it clocks in at about 50 minutes. So, yeah. It's really going to be spoiler filled. Um, so yeah, and I hope, uh, I hope when I have it up, I hope you guys really like it. So, so yeah. Um, I mean... I did have fun with, at the theater with this movie. It, I think it's like one of those films that's so bad it's good. You know? So bad it's good. You can have fun watching it and make fun of it. So, which is what me and Abe were doing at most parts of the movie. So, yeah. Uh, I would actually give this movie a free and a half. I would actually give this movie a free out of five star. It's not great, but it's not bad either, so, wait, it's not great, but it's not horrible. I think it's somewhere in between, like I, like I said, I think it's so bad, it's good, or in this case, so bad, it's fun, actually, so, yeah, um, I, I was kind of hoping it'd be a bit better than that, but, yeah, I mean, me and Abe had a fun time with the movie, and, you could clearly see that when you see the spoiler-filled review of it that I'm going to be uploading soon. So, which uh, for all my viewers out there, be sure to check, be sure to watch out for that. Like, I think it's going to be a pretty great video for you guys. Um, honestly, probably my best review on there, actually. So, yeah. Um, that's all for today, folks. This is Joshua Myers, and you're watching Blood Moon Productions. See you next time.